Hello, my fellow Limitless, Lawless, Sexy Sassy Saucy, HBICs. How are you on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? How are you all? I'm going to give you some basic bitch. If you need help or you want some guidance, some extra support on your manifestation journey, you know what I'm saying? If you need help figuring out what's going on between a you and your manifestation, please feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. All of my coaching options are in the Dropbox below. They're in the screens. It just went by. I have TikTok, Instagram, Clapper. I have channel memberships, but we're not going to talk about them today because I want to make this a quick video. I want to give you a quick tip of what I do personally. Whenever I am having a moment in my 3D, a human moment, maybe I'm reacting, maybe I'm responding, maybe I'm having a moment with my specific person. This is what I do literally any time I'm in that type of a, a, a moment and it has never failed me. Never ever has it failed me. In the moment when I find myself pulling Pulling like to old self, wanting to react and respond like old self, getting that nervous feeling in my stomach, you know, the nervous butterflies, feeling the stress. Yeah. In those moments, I ask myself, who are you being? Who are you being right now in this moment? Is this old Kim or new Kim? Is this the new version of Kim who knows she's in a loving, fulfilling, committed relationship? Or is this the old version of Kim who felt desperate and needy all the damn time? And I'm telling you, anytime I find myself reacting and responding, I can't answer that as new self. It always answers, or the answer always is, I'm being old self. I'm being old version of Kim. In that moment, I acknowledge it, I accept it, and I stand in conviction that I am the version in myself in the most amazing relationship, just like I just said a minute ago, in a loving, committed, fulfilling relationship with the most amazing version of my specific person, that's who I am. Every time, literally, it reflects. It reflects. Why? Because I made my decision. I stood in conviction. It doesn't matter that maybe I initially reacted, responded, had an emotion. None of that matters. But that decision to return back to the version of me that I prefer, it snap, crackle, pops, that 3D every single time. Every single time. So again, it's, it's not that, okay, well, every single thing I'm manifesting is instantly in my face. That's not what I'm saying. Drop that logical thinking. It's the response, the reflection I receive back from my specific person every time I do that. It changes. It changes. But whenever I stand in my old self, I choose to keep thinking shitty thoughts while the, that person is in my face. Those moments, it continues. And the reflection ain't great. But I am telling you flawlessly, limitlessly, when I choose to be the new me despite my 3D, it always changes. This cannot fail. Manifestation is real. You are literally quantum jumping to the reality of choice by your decision on who you're being. So I know the camera's all shaky and annoying. I'm holding it with my hand. I'm not even using a tripod. Sorry for the shaky video. I just, I, this just came on my mind and you know me, I record when I'm judged. Even if it means I have only a few moments to spare before my next coaching call. But I needed to get this on, uh, you know, you know how I am. I needed to get this recorded. Um, but please stop thinking logically. That logical, linear, literal thinking is what's making this journey feel hard. Drop the logic. Allow yourself to be open to the idea that when you decide 
to be a specific version of yourself. Your ass hops to that reality. Allow that. Allow it. And life will change. Like snap, crackle, pop. Okay, I'm just saying. And on that note, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>